Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Denny. If you're brand new, thank you for stopping in. If you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. Today we have our Sunday swatches. All right, uh, I'm excited for Sunday swatches. I really love swatching my palettes for you guys. And today is no different. We have a palette from Violet Voss. I love Violet Voss's formula. So this one does not disappoint. This one is the Violet Voss Sweet Violet Palette in the fun size. So fun size just means that it's a little bit smaller than the usual palettes. When you open this up, it comes in a box that looks exactly like the palette. When you open it up, it does have the little sheet protector in here. It has a mirror and it does go all the way back. And these are the shades inside of the palette. These are not named, not on the front, not on the back, not in the side, nowhere. It does not have names. It just has the shades for you to see. And it's a very violet palette, just like it says. We're going to go ahead and swatch this right down my arm like I usually do and show you what it's about. I've already used this palette a couple of times and I like it a whole lot. So let's get to it with the first shade right here, which is like a flesh tone shade at least to me and I'm going to put that right there and maybe you'll be able to see it maybe you don't because it looks kind of similar to my skin and then the next shade we have is like a champagne shimmery shade that kind of rhymes and I'm going to go ahead and place that right here it does have a little peach in it so we have that shade which is a beautiful and that's a shimmer the first one was a matte all right, then the third shade that we have here, which is like a, I want to say it's, it had, it, okay, so it's a purple, but it's more of a like pink type purple and inside of it, it has little flecks of blue glitter in there. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one as well and try to be able to swatch it like right for you so you can see that one is beautiful and you're seeing a lot of that pink in that color. Next up, we have the fourth shade, which looks like another like pinky purple type of shade as well. And this one is a matte right there. So you can see the shimmer, the matte, they're different. And then the last one on that row is a purple. And this one seems to have some sparkle in it as well, but I can't tell if they're silver or not. Let's go ahead and swatch it. I, I feel like I don't get enough on my finger, but I'm pretty sure it will be enough. Well, no, maybe it wasn't enough. I didn't swirl it right. So sorry that that one was like two swatches, but it was because I didn't grab enough the first time. And it is a shimmer and it does look really nice. Also, purples are really hard to capture when you're making eyeshadows. So this is really good pigmentation for purple. Okay, now we're going to go on to the second row, and the first one that I see is like a lavender type of purple. Lavender? Is that lavender, or is that like, is there a different word for it? Yeah, it does look like a pinky lavender shade. I'm going to go with that. And this one's a matte shade. I'm just going to rub it a couple of times because it does look a little patchy right there, but I think it's the way I swatched it. But there you have it. It's a very soft matte purple. The second shade on the second row is a classic like purple, like grapey type color. It's, it's a light grape, if that makes sense. And it's a shimmer. And this one looks like it has like champagne colored shimmers inside of it and i'm gonna go ahead and swatch that right next to that and there you can see it has the shimmers i love the way that looks the third shade in here is like the classic grape color like perfect grape and it just looks beautiful so again i have like small swatches that i'm doing i'm gonna go ahead and rub that right here and as you see, it could have kept on going. Uh, this one is a shimmer as well, but it's a little bit lighter than that one for some reason. So maybe as you're packing it on, it'll look different, but it looks softer than the pink one. Okay, and then now we have another purple. This one, I don't know how to describe it. It, it pulls a little bit more red, like more pink and red than actual purple. So, um, but this one's a matte shade. 
and I wish I had like descriptions for these but I don't this one this formula on the eyes is a lot nicer than the swatches. So on the swatch, it might look a little patchy, but in person, it's beautiful. And the last shade in this palette is a classic like blue tone purple, which let's go ahead, swatch that. Oh my God, that looks amazing on the finger. And here it is. So, th and that one had, still has a lot. Uh, that's that, uh, bluish purple which is beautiful all right let's go ahead and give you details about this palette this comes with 10 shades it has a 24 month expiration from when you open it uh this product was made in prc which if you don't know is a product of china and uh this also has talc mica it also has red 27 i don't know if that's important to people and red 7 there are several shades in here that do contain carmine uh that is in here so for those of you who have allergies to carmine this one is one to stay away from uh so yeah we have this it does not say cruelty free or anything like that on here which surprises me is this brand not cruelty free I want to know if anybody knows out there please let me know um in any case i mean i still think these colors are gorgeous and i'm still going to use it but i would like to start using more cruelty free products uh that's just my own opinion about things so if you enjoyed me swatching this a beautiful palette Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my guns fam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love ya.